I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on, let's go. So Harry and Meghan, I mean, if you want to be really, really, really pessimistic, so probably any of my Republican friends might like this part, but you, you might want to think, well, is Harry just over all these years, I mean, if you go back and look at all the footage, all the stories, has he just learned how to use the media even better than the institution thinks they know how? And then once he got Meghan on board, I mean, look, she brought herself up from nada to i think she was worth about six million when uh, she got swept off her feet in canada so is this just a perfect mix of of or, or is it just tragic maybe it is just what it what it looks like so we'll see so this is part two and this is the harry and megan uh, scandals or scheme. We're going to see. We use these cards for part one. So now we're on part two. And this is the new Paladini uh, Aquarian deck because uh, they do seem like they are children of this age of Aquarius, these two. That they're uh, right into the uh, beginning of the middle of it or the uh, middle of the beginning of it. That would probably be better, the middle of the beginning of it. And uh, this is a beautiful deck of cards. Uh, wow, death right up on top. Huh, interesting. So the question we're going to be talking about is, um, you know, were these two just the perfect uh, poison for each other? I mean, did they just come along for each other at exactly the right time and saw uh, in their own way how to um, bring this whole thing to some kind of an advantage and escape for Harry? And um, certainly um, in the end, it would certainly be a profile raiser for uh, the Duchess. Or listen, is it exactly what it looks like? A whole, a big tragic mess that uh, was always going to be a big tragic mess, not unlike what I've done to the cards uh, right here. So, um, yeah, what's going on? I mean, uh, you could try to to justify it, I guess. You know, it sounds like maybe there were ways that uh, uh, Megan could have been a little bit freer if she hadn't not been too intimidated perhaps to seek them out I and mean, worried about her passport and her car keys and her id uh, when in fact perhaps that's just how things are done and um, no one in the royal family ever needs those things so they don't much think about um, you know when you're going to need it if you need it they'll take care of it for you um, if there's some reason your passport has to appear somewhere it, it does uh, they probably will take care of you better than you could take care of you but you've got to be willing to play the game. So the question is, Harry and Meghan, was, is this a scandal where they've been so betrayed? Is this a scheme where they figured out we'll escape like this? Or is it some hybrid of that? You know, and that, that's certainly possible, uh, isn't it? I think it is. So the cards still feel a little stuck to each other. And I like them to have, you know what happens when you shuffle them is they just seem to get a little air uh, between the cards and um and probably if i was a better shuffler i could um, make that happen uh, more easily but you can tell when they start to kind of uh, play off themselves well that uh, you've got them kind of mixed the way they should be so just do this maybe one more riffle shuffle and get right into this read about harry and megan scandal or scheme yeah, let's see what we've got here. Harry and Megan, scandal or scheme? So we need six cards, obviously. And jump right in. See what we can find. Hopefully, what we need to know appears for us in some magical way. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, six. Put these bad boys back together in some random order that hopefully will reveal some secrets a little bit later. Okay. Now I'm going to pick these up and put them together just like that. Remember, I just believe these cards come together the way they should. And the signifier for Harry and Meghan's scandal or scheme is the Page of Swords. So who's the Page of Swords? I mean, I always like to think of, of the swords as truth and justice and, and everything good. And um, 
some would say during the recent uh, mess we had in, in the White House with the previous uh, president um, that uh, this was significant of a spy in the camp. And this certain this organization we're talking about certainly um, could fit into that uh, mold pretty easily. So my better angels tell me that this is is someone who's trying to bring some some justice, some some truth into this uh, mess of a situation. Um, who would it be? Who would be the Page of Swords? It can't be Harry, can it? I mean, he's a prince, and when you compare a prince in these typical Rider Waite decks, it'd be equal to like a knight, and this is a page. So. Scandal or scheme? Is this Megan? The challenge to that is the Ten of Swords. Well, you know, this just talks about being, being obviously, obviously being stabbed and, and injured and hurt and and done wrong. I mean, no matter how of a bad person you are, you shouldn't suffer um, a death like this, especially. So this Page of Swords, bringing this information to court, um, his challenge is really where they kill the messenger. You know what I mean? Haven't you heard that before? Don't kill the messenger. And um, if this is Megan, and uh, if this is the challenge of not getting killed for bringing the message, then what's the base of the reading? The base of the reading is the Empress. And the Empress is is has got to be something bigger than than yourself. This has got to be the Queen, or even the institution. But not the institution, but maybe the royal, the monarchy. So the Empress would be a perfect example of the monarchy. And uh, this Empress is is not even proud. She's uh, knowingly deserved of the adoration that she uh, expects you're going to bestow on her. And she's fruitful. And uh, she's got all of her passions in complete control and is is has made a very luscious uh, presence. This empress is the monarchy. That's what this is. This is bigger than a person. In the recent past for this uh, Hagen and Mary scandal or scheme Hagen and Me Harry and Megan scandal or scheme is uh, the King of Pentacles. So that's the recent past, the King of Pentacles. And um, the King of Pentacles, I'm, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's a, a specific person to me, but feels like it's the, the, the king, is the queen right now is the king. The queen represents uh, the highest it would be. She is the king of the land. And um, so I think this represents the past is that they've broken away from that structure of that uh, of that royalty look at this this almost looks like this throne this uh, uh, crown almost looks like a um, a castle up here on the head of this king um, so that's the past is putting and th this king is even turned away so that's putting um, that uh, monarchy behind you and then the sky of this reading is the high priestess I mean this is a very uh, auspicious reading the high priestess is no all calm serenity. She stands between knowing and doing, uh, moving forward with knowledge, with confidence, with the secrets, uh, with the light, um, and uh, with everything that she needs to make this a very comfortable um, uh, situation. So the high priestess is is right, is what the high priestess is. In this uh, situation, this high priestess reads, uh, represents uh, the light, the right way to go. And the outcome for this part of this reading is going to be the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is what we, so we had the Page of Swords bringing the truth in, and the Page of Cups is going to be a surprise. This is an emotional uh, jolt. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, this page is in control of, but is also amused by. So that's for this first part of this Celtic Cross. But then to to really get down to this, and remember, we're talking about, is this a Megan and Harry scandal or a Megan and Harry scheme? And this looks like it's a Megan and Harry um, uh, uh, trying to make things better. Uh, the self of this, then, is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles speaks to us in this really amazing um, uh, Palladini Aquarian deck is a, a balance of doling out those pentacles in a balanced way so that things work out for everyone. And, you know, and that's all this institution uh, has to uh, figure out. The uh, environment of that, though, is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is having so many choices, so many ways you can go about uh, a thing or all the different faces you can put on a thing uh, to, uh, to, 
to as an illusion. Because this card is often called the illusion and delusion card too. So weighing things out evenly as a self is in the environment of all these illusions and all these choices that can be made. And then the uh, hopes and the fears though for this is the fool. And that would be a hope. I mean, it needs to step out on a new foot and start anew with a face towards the future, the sun in your in your in your face, not the sun in your eyes, hopefully, but the sun in your face, and uh, uh, a handful of hope. And um, uh, on your other hand, you're holding all the determination and and uh, movement that you hope uh, you can muster without falling off the cliff. That's the hope and the fear. And then the final outcome then for this is the moon. The secrets have to be revealed. You know, all the, everything's going to crawl out to the surface and and be looked at. Maybe not in full so, sunlight, you know, but it's but. The, the fault, the secrets, the good and the bad is going to be exposed for for whatever period it needs to be and to whom it ever needs to be exposed to. So I think what this is telling me is that the Harry and Meghan scandal or scheme was not a scheme, and it's sad that it was a scandal, but it was just a shift uh, that is necessary to keep up pace, and, and growth uh, often is painful. Yeah, the cards that came up in this reading were just amazing. I mean, we had the Empress, we had the Fool, we have the Moon, the High Priestess, uh, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles. I mean, this was a very heavy, significant reading. But the the result is that uh, nothing can move forward unless we clean up um, the gunk that's uh, the secrets that are uh, mucking up the machine. Well... I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thanks for coming by. Part three is coming up, so don't miss that because what is part three? Oh, is it only Megan? Is it only Megan? Is this? Well, we'll see. Ciao for now.